I am Mr. Spiritual Win, and welcome back to part 6 of the Digimon World playthrough. Today we're going to find out who the hell is creating all this bloody heat. I think we'll find the culprit up here somewhere. Right. What have we got? And, uh. Oh my god, that man's on fire! Stop, drop and roll, dude! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's just a Digimon on fire. No, I don't care if they're on fire. That's perfectly fine. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Do you know how bad it'll look if the heroes don't stop the island from being destroyed? You're making us look bad. You have offended my honour, good sir. Prepare to die. And once again we are thrust into combat. Oh dear. I'd probably count Mer Merrimon as probably uh, the first proper boss in the game. At least, uh, you know, if you didn't like go up against Palmon when you're a rookie or something. Okay, and if you notice here, uh, Agroth's confused. Great to have on your opponent, annoying to have on you. Basically, you just spam your moves any way, not even aiming, so they pretty much don't get to set them off. Merrimon's not too bad if you've got a decent champion. He has Manga Bomb, uh, Heat Laser, which you just saw, and Dynamite Kick. I think he's so close to the beginning because they know that it's very likely you'll have a fire tab Digimon, so you know there's a good chance you can learn something from him. And I've got to say, it's a good thing I uh, learned Megaton Punch from Drumoldemon because this would have taken fucking ages of Spitfire. Not doing too bad, uh, he's taken a lot, a lot more than I thought he was going to. There, there was Dynamite Kick. Finish him! Oh shit, there's always a little bit in there. Yeah. Pwned! Bitch. Keeps you destroy the island. As usual, he dropped a chip, being a boss. Oh sweet, yeah, heat laser. Of course, learning any moves okay. Do dumbass. Yeah, basically all these saddles go because they've got nothing better to do. You want to join? It's not a question of if we can do it; we will do it. This isn't much of a play for I didn't if I didn't collect all you guys. Now come to my city. Yay! Well, that went pretty well, if I do say so myself. Of course, let's just uh, get that new move. I'm quite impressed of uh, that I got to learn some moves so quickly in the game. Seriously, I can go through this these areas. You know, in a, in a new game, and not get anything. Uh, the look of some things sometimes. Yeah, I had uh, trouble getting to this uh, box. I decided to uh, use them this time instead of selling them. Because the next area we're going into, I'm going to need to bulk up a bit. And of course, if you just see here, um, Agroth didn't take it. So if your Digimon doesn't take anything, scold him and just try it again, and, he'll, and he should do so. That's only because uh, he has such a low discipline from uh, training beforehand. I really shouldn't have white slipped so bad. I presume these boxes are uh, Miramon's possessions, but he forgot to take them in his leave. I think uh, we'll empty them for him and... Uh... Yeah, that's a good idea. Notice the lava's cooled off now that Miramon's gone. Where's that Jumoljumon gone to? He's still bloody trying to get through this tunnel. It's unbelievable. Seriously, I'm not waiting for this fucking tunnel again. We'll just come back later. Yeah, well, once you've taken care of Merrimon, you have to wait three days for this Jumoljumon to uh, finish completing the tunnel. And after that, we can come back. Well, of course, that's going to be done in this part. 
Great balls of fire. It's a Demi Merrimon. Probably one of the only Digimon that uh, actually isn't uh, hostile towards you. Okay, be careful here. See how sneakily they were hid. Yeah, I'm just going to feed all of them to uh, Agroth this time. And a quick chip, that's good. Monochromon's not good at uh, levelling up in speed. Little bitch, you do what I tell you. Fucker. Right, I think there's one more around here. Yeah, on a sad note, you, that particular Demi Merrimon here trades you uh, Digimon cards, which we can get later. It's very random, but, you know, if you're ever interested. Me spazzing out against the wall there, I thought there were more chests. But no, I've cleared them all out now. There should be six in total. Okay, uh, we're just going to cut ahead because uh, I know you don't want to watch me run all the way back. Yeah, I did a bit more than just walk back. I trained for two days and had the good luck to learn Ven Inferno while I was training brains, which would be a big help. So now with these increased stats, I think it's time to take on a new area. First, I've just got to take care of some business. This is something I didn't uh, actually cover when I started the playthrough, but every time you talk to Digimon after you've recruited Digimon, he tells you tells you a bit more about what they actually do, or at least gives you a clue anyway. And the thing is that each Digimon that you recruit into the city gives you a prosperity point. For a rookie, it's one point. Champion 2, Ultimate 3. The only exception to this is the loser Digimon, Numemon, Sukumon, and Nanimon, which only give you one point. But the, the point is, at the end of the game, once you've recruited all Digimon, it should add up to 100. You know, so 100%. And actually, prosperity points are important because they unlock some of the um, story later in the game at certain intervals. But, uh,. We'll see more of that later, and I'll mention it whenever it's needed. Also, let's just go down here. What the fuck is this oven doing here? Damn kids leaving the garbage. Yeah, but no. Uh, this is what Merrimon decided to do in the city. This is a restaurant, of course. You, when you feed your Digimon one of the meals at the restaurant, not only does it fill them, of course, but it also increases their stats a little bit. Merrimon's the first one, so he created the stall, but later in the game there's quite a few more Digimon that add their menus to it, and they come at certain times and whatnot. I've never really used it, but I'm sure, you know, if you try it out, it would be pretty useful. And let's get going. We are heading to Amida Forest. To um, get another important Digimon. I really should have got that computer by now. Well, at least we will be getting there if I can get past these Digimon. Look at them. They're waiting to battle. Uh, oh shit, that was close. Oh, what's this sound? That's a bit extreme, isn't it? I'm sure if we just uh, talk to him, he'll be reasonable enough and let us through. Here we are. Oh, oh shit. Oh crap. I think we're in trouble. Uh, join me in part 7 and see if we can get out of this. Till next time.